Let's find the prime factors of 16. Remember that we can find the prime factors by successive division or factor tree method. After calculating the prime factors of 16, we get these numbers. Observe that 2 is repeated several times in the prime factorization of 16. Is it useful to express repeated prime factors in a shorter form? Yes, of course. We can express the repeated numbers through a method called index notation. It is a short way of representing a number being multiplied by itself several times. In other words, index notation shows repeated self-multiplication. So, we can write 2 multiplied 4 times in this form. It is read as 2 raised to the power 4. 2 is called the base. The number that is being multiplied by itself is known as the base. The number written on the top right of the base is called index or power. The index tells us how many times we should multiply the base by itself. In our example, base 2 is multiplied 4 times. Consider another example. 3 times 3. Here, the number 3 is repeated twice. We can write it as 3 raised to the power 2. We can also read it as 3 squared. Now study this example. 2 times 2 times 2. Again, we can write it as 2 raised to the power 3. It also has a special name, that is 2 cubed. Let's test ourselves. Take a moment to find the prime factors of 72 and then express them in the index notation. By successive division or factor tree method, we get these prime factors of 72. Observe that the number 2 is repeated 3 times and number 3 is repeated 2 times. Hence, we can write 2 cubed times 3 squared. In this video, we learned about index notation. Index notation is a way of writing numbers in a more convenient form. The number that is being multiplied by itself is known as the base. Index is the number of times a base is multiplied by itself.